A main, a main indicator of growth, you guys, is again looking back and cringing at your old self. Like, ugh, like why did I even do that? Like, what was I thinking? <laughs> what's going on it's the simone welcome back to my channel y'all we are about to be getting into something really important today because in light of eclipse season i i'm tired i know y'all tired okay eclipse season is here though y'all know we had that eclipse in libra on the 14th and now we're having this lunar eclipse in taurus in a couple days on the 28th and okay the changes have been changing okay I, things have been challenging we are experiencing more things that we need to push us into growth and push us into this transformation that we need to complete in order to get to the places we want to be get the things that we are desiring in this lifetime right so like I said, in light of that eclipse season, everything changing, people are transforming, we're trying to be our best selves, be our healthiest and highest version. We are going to get into five signs that your life is about to change in a major way, okay? Now, these are all things that I've experienced more than once, okay? <laughs> more than once, you know, we go through many different phases in our lives. And when one chapter closes and one thing is a time to come to an end, we get into the next chapter, but we have to go through that tough transition period in between. And it could definitely be challenging and it can make us feel small sometimes. It can make us feel like, we aren't doing enough or that we aren't even capable some of the time just because of how difficult things can be for us when we are going through periods where we are being asked to change or being asked to get rid of the old ways get rid of what we used to do so that what we do now what we need to do in the future can come into our lives so we about to be getting into it y'all we're going to be talking about five signs that your life is changing in a major way so if you're interested in knowing what these signs are stay tuned all right y'all let's get into it five signs that your life is about to change in a major way y'all now these aren't the only signs okay there are more signs in this more telltales that'll let you know things are transforming for you but these are just the ones that i've for sure gone through multiple times and that are just the most significant for me so let's get into it let's let you know what you have to look out for so sign number one that your life is changing in a major way and i'm sure a lot of you guys have heard this before but it is everything falls apart okay literally everything falls away and from my personal experience y'all my life became a total shit show <laughs> like seriously Everything is going to fall apart and it's going to happen in such a way where you don't even notice it happening until like you're just down the line a year or two later and you look back like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> like wow, like, like how did we get here? You will not realize how deep the transformation and change is running until you sit down in the future or wherever the present, whatever, in that moment compared to what you were doing in the past and say, how the heck did I get here? What the fuck happened? Like, what is going on? Like, your life is going to be unrecognizable. Things are going to shift. Things are going to happen. Sometimes it's not so good things, all right? Me personally, I went through several experiences over a couple years. I feel like my life was falling apart. And I would say the major catalyst event to this was I lost an internship. So when I was in college, I literally got an internship my first semester of college. It was with an accounting firm. I had this internship for three years, okay? I majored in accounting and everything behind this internship. It was, you know, that was just what was thought I was going to do. I'm going to graduate here. I'm going to do the master's program. I'm going to be an accountant. And I'm telling y'all, my senior year, that third internship, <laughs> I lost the internship. I was not offered the position again and crushed, devastated. It's literally like you can have a whole plan for your life or just think things are going to go a certain way and then it would just come apart. All right. I was going on a track 
for four or five years and it suddenly become became unavailable to me. That path was suddenly closed. And like I said, I was devastated. I was crushed. I was kind of embarrassed. Like, how am I going to tell my parents this? I didn't major in a whole major behind this dang on internship. Like, what the heck? And I, I don't have it anymore. It's falling apart. That happened, guys. Literally, what? The next year, we were facing possible eviction with my roommate. We were having issues with that. And then it led into me, like, the final year, I lost a whole bunch of friends, okay? I lost a whole friend group. I lost people around me that I thought, you know, were my friend that turned out not to be. Things just happened in a way I just felt like, what the heck? <laughs> it's like... You go through this phase where life is literally detoxing you, okay? When you're going through this dark night of the soul, all these different things and emotions are coming up. You're feeling like a failure. You're feeling like you don't know which way to go because you spent so much time on one route. You, you don't even know how to start another route or what to do next, all right? You will literally feel like your life is like in shambles, like what the heck? And from there, you guys, literally the year I lost my internship, I started back up on YouTube. Now, I did have a YouTube when I was like 15. Like, I was just posting random stuff. But after I lost that internship, I started really going hard and really going crazy. And that's when I was doing more beauty stuff. If y'all want to go, you know, scroll and check that out. But when I started YouTube, it was such an amazing and powerful outlet for me. So, if I hadn't had that experience, if I hadn't had that failure, if that didn't happen, my whole life kind of getting blown up, I wouldn't have been able to start the YouTube or I started in the way that I did or even be talking to you guys right now. I might, shoot, probably would have been in somebody's office working and doing all that. And within that experience, I learned as well that I didn't really want to be an accountant. I would rather be here talking to y'all. So yes, your life falls apart. But again, as things fall apart, they come together even more beautifully. So that is something I'm happy that I experienced within that phase of my life. And like I said, even talking to you guys right now, the pick of cards and everything, how my YouTube channel has progressed. But I just, you know, you sit back and realize if things hadn't fell apart, if things didn't go the way that I wanted them to go, or that I didn't want them to go? How do I say it? <laughs> if things went the way that I wanted them to go and that I expected them to go, I wouldn't be getting to sit here right now and talk to you guys. I wouldn't have had so much growth and learned so much about life through the experience of losing a path or losing out on something that I felt like I put so much work into that just didn't work out. So that's the first thing, you guys. Everything falls apart. You know, you could lose a job. You know, your housing could be a little bit crazy. You could lose a bunch of friends. The friends one and the relationships is definitely a major one, you guys. That is definitely going to change no matter what because as you're becoming a better version of yourself, there are always people that aren't going to want to see you reach new heights or reach heights higher than them. So God is really going to start exposing what's going on in the minds of people around you. You're going to start seeing people's true intentions, okay? And that's going to cause you to lose some relationships. Y'all have to know that it is impossible to reach different phases and chapters in your life and be successful and do good and be happy with certain people in your life. It's just not going to happen, okay? The universe is going to protect you, protect the future you and all that you will have from that person that is in your present until you decide to let them go, okay? So that's the first thing, you guys. Everything's going to fall apart. You're going to feel like your life is literally coming to an end. Things could be a total shit show and you could just really like look back like what the heck has been going on the past year or two like what the like wh why like that's all you're gonna want to know is why like why is this happening like what like pff, what is going on so <laughs> yeah that's the first sign sign number one everything falls apart life as you know it is gonna suddenly be different for you okay okay y'all uh, the next sign sign number two is it becomes painful to live your current life okay what was once easy for you to do now starts to eat away at you. You start to wonder, like, why the heck am I even doing this? You start to think about your intentions. And you start to say, hey, maybe this made me feel good at one point in time. But at this point in time, it don't make me feel so good. Okay, it actually makes me not feel the best about myself. 
All right, you start to literally see your patterns and see certain things and certain coping mechanisms that you have developed and realize what was once easy is now hard, okay? Before, okay, hey, you could sit up there and you could scroll on social media all day or you could, you know, smoke, drink, do, do whatever you want. You could do it all day, however much you want. You could overindulge. And that could be your way of coping with something at a particular moment. But as you move into the future and you heal and you really learn from your experience, you start to realize this doesn't feel good no more. Okay? Like, I I don't need to do this. My way of coping with this in the past has now come into my future and it's not making me feel good. It's kind of eating away at me. You know, you develop habits you might not feel the best about. Okay, and this could be within any aspect of your life. Okay, this could come in the the form of noticing that a certain addiction that you have is now eating away at you, and it is really starting to get hard to even participate in it. Okay, this could come in the form of like your attitude. All right, a certain attitude or a certain belief that you had about life. It's now not working. It's now hard to think that way. It's now hard to believe that stuff, and now it brings you pain. All right, so when you start to notice that the things that you used to do, mainly the coping mechanisms and all the things that you did in order to survive, becomes hard to do when it was once easy, that's how you know your life is changing in a major way, okay? Because you don't resonate with that stuff anymore. Think about it. You were doing a lot of that stuff just to feel good, all right? Now you've gotten to a certain point, you've healed certain things. The, certain, the same stuff that made you feel good then is probably not going to make you feel good in this season. And that's not the worst thing, okay? We can find different things that make us feel amazing within each different chapter of our lives, okay? And it's nothing wrong with that. And it's nothing wrong with developing coping mechanisms again. As long as you're, you know, realizing it in the end. Sometimes we have to go through a season where we are experiencing an addiction to a certain thing. Or we are, like, living out a darker shadow side of us. That's shadow work. Okay? That's stuff coming up to the surface to be released. To be revealed. So that we no longer have to live with the pattern on our back. In our life. Okay, so when what was once easy becomes harder to do, that's how you know you're being set up for a major change in your life. Okay, and that's going to tie in directly with number three, you guys, which is you recognize your bad habits first and then you actually take action in order to change them. Okay, you actually start to wonder, like I said, you're being intentional. You're wondering, like, why am I even doing this? Okay, y'all, like... I know, like, a lot of y'all, don't judge me. I love a good blunt in the cocktail every once in a while, okay? Maybe more than every once in a while. But, you know, I love me. <laughs> I love to have me a good, you know, little, little joint and a little cocktail. But it's important to not overindulge in those things, okay? And one thing that I was really fell victim to was overindulging at a point in my life. And it made me feel good at one point. It made me feel... Like, I could just forget my problems and not just think about stuff and just, you know, be whatever. It, it made me feel good at that point when things were too much, when things were too heavy, when things were too stressful. But at a certain point, when I began to heal and self-reflect and do everything I needed to do to gain the knowledge from those experiences, I noticed that I was actually hurting myself more than helping myself by doing certain behaviors that I picked up when I was in pain, when I was struggling, when I was just trying to survive, okay? So again, three, recognizing your bad habits and actually taking action to change them, actually doing what it takes to move yourself forward. And y'all, it is so hard to change, okay? Changing is one of the most difficult things that there is to do as a human because even if something that we do is making us miserable our brain is going to work over time to make sure that we keep doing it because that's what makes us comfortable our way our brain is wired to take the easiest way to make us the most comfortable so that gets us into autopilot and to engaging in certain things and then you look up one day and you're like dang how did i even form this habit or how did this even happen right but Again, as long as you're taking the action and you're being intentional and realizing this, a certain bad habit that you developed when you were just trying to survive could be 
just what you needed to get you to the next chapter. You know, everybody is different. We all grow different. And some of us have to experience more pain than others to really get a lesson or to fully grow or to fully come into a new version of ourselves. So, again, number three, you actually take the action in changing these bad habits. All right. So, number four, a sign that your life is about to change in a certain way. Okay, y'all, this is important. And this is how you know. This is how you know, like, I'm doing something, all right? You take accountability and you stop blaming everybody else for your problems, for your mistakes. Your defenses come down. You allow yourself more grace, okay? And you... Begin to be softer with yourself because you realize just like everybody else, you are human, okay? You were not born knowing every lesson there is to be learned to be this perfect human. Nobody is. We're all born with our own shit. We're all born with lessons that we have to learn, experience that we have to gain, things that we have to grow through, things that we have to go through, right? So... When you begin to take account- accountability for the things and mistakes you have made, you give yourself space to be that human and you give yourself space to not be perfect, which you're no one is ever going to be perfect anyway. So you allow yourself to fully live your life in a way that you are holding things above your head, over your head, like your past, the mistakes you have made, things you have done that you haven't been the most proud of, all right? And you have to put your defenses down with yourself. Because some of us could be at war with ourselves, okay? And it could really take us really sitting down and reflecting and letting go. All right? When you take accountability and you start blaming everybody else, you start to say, okay, I made this decision and maybe it wasn't the best decision. And things kind of went bad. But, like, I had the power to make that decision to make things kind of go wrong. I have the power to make an even better decision to start off on a better track to make things go right in the future. All right? So, it's just about realizing that you are more powerful than you think. And that comes with accepting the good that you do and accepting the bad that you do. And realizing that just because, you know, you may have done some bad things or had some bad experiences, that is not the end. That is not the end all be all and you can't go around holding that above your head your whole entire life because you're probably the only person doing it, all right? Some of us are sitting here harping on experiences that have happened years ago and it doesn't even, the people, other people involved in the situation might not even be thinking about it anymore, okay? This could just be you. It could be in your head. It's in your reality because it was your experience, okay? But when you fully take accountability for it and say, okay... I did this, this was the person I was then, but this is the lesson I've learned now, today. And this is how I can use it to better myself, to better somebody else, and move forward. So taking accountability, bringing your defenses down, reflecting, and realizing where you may have gone wrong in situations as well. And leading us to number five is you have released your anger towards people who have hurt you. And you have begun to embrace the positives that a negative situation could have given you. All right? You're no longer mad at people and walking around but hurt, okay? You're no longer upset and reminiscing on experiences that have hurt you, bringing up all these thoughts that make you sad and bring you down. All right? You have begun to release anger towards those who have hurt you because, again, you have taken accountability. So you have realized that you have also hurt people, that you have also made mistakes, that you also have experiences that you aren't the most proud of. All right? And I feel like a main a main indicator of growth, you guys, is, again, looking back and cringing at your old self. Like, ugh, like, why did I even do that? Like, what was I thinking? <laughs> if you aren't thinking like that, you might not be growing enough, okay? You might not be fully getting to the root of things and healing and bringing everything together so that you can, you know, see how everything has panned out. So you can see your purpose so that you can see your life come together all right so ooh, the table's shaking <laughs> so yeah when you can fully release that anger when you can say okay 
I've given myself grace because I know, too, I have made mistakes and I have hurt people. So I'm going to give others the same grace as well. You cannot fully move forward in love and in true happiness and peace if you're still hanging on to anger from 2, 3, 4, 15 years ago. Okay, it's it's never going to work because you're always going to be thinking about that painful memory, whether it be a mistake that you made or whether it be how somebody hurt you. It's all about letting it go. It's all about releasing that anger for your highest good. They always say, what they say, forgiveness is for you, not necessarily for the other person, so that you can live in peace, so that you can live in harmony, all right? So that you don't continue to live in a space that may have brought your spirit down, all right? So that is what I have for you guys today. That is about five signs that your life is about to change in a major way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you would like more videos like this. I am still working on the pickle cards. There will be a let me gas you up very soon. But like I said, I'm just trying to, you know, navigate through this. The pickle cards will still be here, but I also want to do more videos talking like this so that more people can get these messages, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in the next one.